Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about how to list items on eBay from CJ Dropshipping. In this video, we will show you how to connect your CJ Dropshipping account with your eBay store, how to import products to your eBay store and how to list a product. So watch this video till the end to better understand all these steps. To use CJ Dropshipping for your eBay store, you need an account on both eBay and CJ Dropshipping. We will demonstrate this on both the platforms, so let's first start with eBay. This is eBay's homepage. Click the register button at the top left corner. This is the sign up page of eBay. If you already have an eBay account, then use this sign in button or else complete the sign up process. First, select the type of account. We recommend you to sign up with a personal account, but if you have a registered business and you have all the proper documents for it, then you can continue with the business account. We are continuing with the personal account. Now here, enter your first name. Then enter your last name here. Then here, enter your email address and then create a password. And once you've filled all these things, then click the register button. On the next page here, select your country of residence. Then here, enter your address. And then here, select the country code and enter your mobile number. We're going ahead with pseudo information and after entering all the required fields here, just go ahead and click the continue button. After successfully registering, you will be taken to your dashboard. So this is your eBay dashboard, which is also called my eBay. We will come back to this page later. Now go ahead and visit CJ Dropshipping's website. This is the home page. If you already have a CJ Dropshipping account, then use this sign in button to log in or else click the register button to create an account. This is the sign up page. From here, you can easily sign up by using your WhatsApp, Facebook, Google, Apple or Shopify account or else use your email address. Enter your email address here, then here create a password, confirm it here, then tick the box of the user agreement and privacy policy and then finally go ahead and click the next button. On the next page here, you need to create a username. Then here enter your first name and your last name here and then select your country code and enter your phone number here. And once you've filled all these details, then go ahead and click the confirm button. And after you have successfully registered, you will be taken to this page. Click here on the skip now button and you will be taken to CJ Dropshipping's home page. Now that we have shown you how you can register on both CJ Dropshipping and eBay, let's go ahead and start connecting our eBay store to CJ Dropshipping. Click My CJ at the top of the page. This is the dashboard. In the left sidebar, you have tabs for My CJ, Orders, Cart, Products, Print on Demand and Store Authorization. Expand the Store Authorization tab and in the list click eBay. On this page you will find all your eBay stores that are connected with your CJ dropshipping. To connect your eBay store, click the Add Store button. A pop-up window will open. Here you need to enter your eBay store's name. In case you don't remember your eBay store's name, then go back to your My eBay page on ebay.com and in the top right side, here you will find your store's name. Select it and copy it to the clipboard. Now come back to the CJ Dropshipping page and here paste the copied store's name and then click the Authorize button and you will be taken to your eBay login page. Here enter your registered email or username and then click the continue button. On the next page, here enter your password and then click the sign in button. After successfully logging in, you will be taken to this page. Now you need to authorize CJ Dropshipping to access your eBay store. Here you will find all the permissions that you're going to give to CJ Dropshipping. 
And if you're okay with granting all these permissions to CJ Dropshipping, then click the Agree and Continue button. And after successful authorization, you'll be taken back to CJ Dropshipping with the authorization success message. Now let's demonstrate how to import products to your eBay store from CJ Dropshipping. Click My CJ on the top of the page. On this page, expand the My CJ tab in the left sidebar and then click Purchase List. On this page, click the Add Purchase button and you will be taken to the Products Recommendation page where you will find all the products that you can list on your eBay store from CJ Dropshipping. With the product thumbnail, you can see its name, how many stores have listed it, and its price. Scroll down to see the complete list of products. Once you've selected your product, click it and you will be taken to the products details page. We're just going ahead with a random product. On this page, you will find the complete description about the product, like its name, price range, available colors, shipping fees, service fee, and more. Now scroll down and you can see some options here like connect, list, sell and earn, buy now, customize, add to queue, add to SKU list and photography request. If the product is already on your eBay store and you want to list it again, then click the connect button. But if you want to add this product as a new listing to your eBay store, then click the list button. A pop-up window opens. If you have connected multiple stores with CJ Dropshipping, then select your eBay store from this drop-down menu. Select your warehouse from this drop-down. By default, it will be China Warehouse, but you can change it to any other available warehouse. Below, you will see the product specification with columns for image, SKU, CJ color, CJ size, RRP, CJ price, shipping fee, service fee, total dropshipping cost, your price, inventory, and listing quantity. Here, enter your price of this product, which will be listed on your eBay store. Then here, enter the listing quantity. Scroll down and you will see all the variants of your product. You can untick any variant that you don't want to list on your eBay store. From here, you need to select the country to which most of your orders will be shipped. Then select the shipping method from this drop-down. It will depend on the country you selected. If you don't want to make any changes in the product's details and description, click the List It Now button. Or else, if you want to make any changes, click the Edit Before Listing button. Now on the next pop-up window, under the Product tab, from here you can change the title of the product. From here you can add tags for the product. Now click the Description tab. This is a text editor with advanced features. Go through the default description and make the changes you want. Now come to the Images tab. By default, all the images will already be selected. But if you don't want to add a particular image in the product description, click it to deselect it. Now come to the Variants tab. Scroll down to see all the different color variants of the product. To make changes in the price and bulk variants, enter your amount here and click OK. You can make changes to the SKU, CJ color and CJ style. Just click any to make the changes in it. Now come to the shipping tab. From this drop down select your shipping warehouse. Then from this drop down menu select the country to which most of your orders will be shipped. Based on the warehouse location and the country selected, here you will see all the shipping methods that are available. You will see columns of shipping method, estimated delivery time, shipping fee, service fee, and tracking information. Scroll down to see the complete list of shipping methods and you can also go ahead and compare all of them. And once you're done with making all the changes, then click this List It Now button and the product will be listed on your eBay store. With this, we have completed our tutorial on how to list items on eBay from CJ Dropshipping. This brings this video to an end. We truly hope you've benefited from it. 
If you have any suggestions or want us to make a video on any specific topic, feel free to comment below. We will see you soon in our next video. Till then, stay tuned and stay subscribed to our channel.